Hey there, YouTube. Grandpa Joe from Grandpa Joe's Closet here with another collection video. Uh, this time I'm going to change the pace a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go uh, out of the realm of the baseball cards and uh, jump into one of my coin collections. Uh, this collection would be my Lincoln Sense collection, which it, in this book goes up to, I think, 2007, I believe. It's getting close to being completed, but not quite there yet. Here's my first page here. Kind of see what my what my gaps are. You know, I'm missing the uh, the big one there, the 1909 SBDB. There. Um, these are all you know uh, lower vintage coins here that I still have left. 11s, 12s, 13d, 14d. 14s, 15, 15s. Uh, I do have the rest of that, that book there. Okay, comes back. The older ones are, you know, hit and miss as far as condition wise. The next page here, right here at the top, I'm missing the 21s and the 22 plane. 24d, 26s. The 31S and the 33D. Now after this page here, I have all the regular issues, I believe, up until you start getting into some of the, uh, the mid-70s proofs, uh, estimate marks. This page is completely full. It's got uh, 1935 through the 1946S. You know, some in good condition, you know, some in not so good condition. Kind of fuzzy there a little bit. Let's see if we can. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I hate to focus on these things. When it works, it works, but when you want to kind of go through things, you know, kind of good pace, it always gets screwed up. So, we'll just go on the next page. If it focuses, it focuses. If it doesn't, it doesn't, I guess. There's a 1947 through 1958 with a couple of uh, just extra ones down here at the bottom. A week reverse and a couple of Lincoln Memorial reverses down here on the bottom. Here. Again, not missing anything through there. Here we go. 1959 through 1973s. The only ones that I'm missing out of this book right now are the or my 1970s's. I bit, had them out because I was evaluating them as far as uh, looking for you know the large date, small date stuff. I'm still trying to learn how to identify those. I have a video about how to identify them, or trying to help, trying to get help identify them, was one of my first videos, because uh, somebody had mentioned to me that I was misidentifying my 70s's, so I was looking for some help. So go check it out. You know, leave me your comments on that one, because I'm not sure what's um something. It's it's they say high high seven, low seven. It's kind of confusing at times, depending on how you look at it. Anyway. You know, miss, this is where I start missing the uh, San Francisco mint marks. I've got a few of them, and I'm trying to fill them in as I, in there as I can. The 75, 77, 78, 79s, 1980s, maybe 82, 83s. I've been able to buy some on YouTube one, or on eBay once in a while, but you really don't find these S's in circulation at all. I like circulation coins versus uncirculated coins because they have character. You know, they, they they tell a story. They they get some cool toning and they just have a, have a better appeal to me. I don't know than a BU coin. But on these pages here, all the way through from uh, '84 to 1995, I don't have many of the S's. Just the 1987 S. 
Got the rest of them. I do need yet. And then here's the final page of this book, which is the 1996 through 2007 S. Uh, as you can see, I'm still missing a lot of the uh, the estimate marks. I got uh, the one at the very bottom. It rounds out this collection, the 2007 S. That's my main penny collection for the Lincoln Memorial Sense and the Lincoln Wheat Sense. I do, however, which I will show in another video, have some coin folders with pennies in them that I've been working on over over the over the time. I got one of nothing but BUs, really nice, good good condition coins. Um, and I've worked on a couple other smaller, like 1940 to 1970 something uh, collection books, 75 collection books. I've worked on a couple of those. Um, you know, it, it seems like every time I start start one of those, I meet somebody who who starts talking about their interest in, in wanting to get into coins, and and I take and uh, you know give up my starting collections to them to. You know, give them something, something to start with and something to build off of. Here's a list of all the vintages of all the Lincoln pennies for, through 2000, 1909 through 2000. Uh, I've also got my collection of the uh, Flying Eagle and uh, Indian Head sets, which I'll also do a video on that, that as well. I don't really have a collection of, of large sets, I only have a couple of those. No sense to put them into an album or anything like that at this point. So, anyhow, a nice little change of pace with the Lincoln sets today. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe. If you're not subscribed, smash the like button. Check out my other videos. And if there's something that uh, you'd like to see, you know, me showcase, let me know in the comments below. Thanks, YouTube. Have a good day.